The Glasgow crowd are always incredible. I, I used to come here when I was at university. I was in university in, in Norwich, but I had some mates who were at university in Glasgow. So I used to have an excuse to come up and watch some gigs here. So I was kind of a group in, followed around a few bands when I was at university. So when the NME tour was on, for example, in 2004, I think, I came with the um, I saw Kaiser Chiefs and Killers and Future Heads and Block Party in, uh, in Glasgow. It was just amazing. And I was, I was, I was, sorry, I was 18 and just uh, I thought this is an amazing place to watch live music. And it was always a really friendly place and we were just having an amazing time. Um, and then since I got my job at Radio 1, I, I wanted to come back as often as possible because um, we, don't, we don't do enough stuff in Scotland as, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you can always do more. So I love doing the build up to Tea in the Park as well, so we do a sofa surfing thing around Scotland and um, and to be up this week to do things for the academy and all that kind of stuff has always been brilliant. And I've done some student tours in Glasgow and always yeah. always, uh, always wanted to come back and Aberdeen I've been to a few times and just love it yeah. and love Scotland. I wanted, I'd love to live in Edinburgh one day I think, yeah. or Glasgow, one of the two. Is that sacrilege to say that in Glasgow? Well that's alright, <laughs> either one, either one's fine by me. And what is it about the, the Glasgow crowds that's kind of special? Um, it's happy. Yeah. I think it's really happy um, and, uh, and grateful as well. I think living in London, you realise that everyone's just miserable. <laughs> they don't, they're actually very spoiled. Yeah. Uh, but it's, not, it's no one's fault. Everyone's very spoiled in London. You know, all the bands come here all the time. And you've got a new band every night. You can do a gig, a gig every night. And you've got a big artist there every night. But I think when... When you bring such an amazing lineup to Glasgow, people just go, "Shit, this is amazing!" And um, they just there's something for everyone. If, if you don't like, if there's nothing on this lineup that you don't like, um, that you like, I think there's something wrong with you. You don't like music. There's, so, there's something that you like at least one artist on the lineup. Um, what, what band have you enjoyed watching the most so far this week? Well, I'm looking forward to today. We've got uh, Katy Perry. No, no. Um, sorry. <laughs> Um, uh, today I'm, inter I'm introducing Royal Blood on the stage, which I'm excited about. I'm introducing the stage. Brilliant new band who are just going to you know, smash over the next couple of years. Uh, Rhodes is on stage, new singer-songwriter, who I think is wonderful and sort of could be the new Ben Howard. And obviously Katy Perry I'm looking forward to seeing. And, um, good to see Kings of Leon. I've not seen them for a few years. Great to see them back. And uh, what else is there on today? Yeah, it's Sabian tonight. Sabian headlines tonight on the New Music Trust stage. So. A good spread of things this evening, and obviously Paolo, the, the hometown hero. Yeah. It'd be great to have him on. Fantastic. And have you had a chance to get out of the boat in Glasgow? Past yeah, we had a week. Uh, last week we were in here for the um, the Academy shows. So we did a, the Academy at uh, Queen Mary University. Is it Queen Mary? Queen Margaret. Oh, Queen Margaret Union? Yeah, Queen Margaret, yeah. <laughs> Mary Margaret. <laughs> I was trying to 